What the heck is the difference between college and university? That's exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Not just because we're curious, but because you actually have to choose the right school and get the right degree to open the doors you need opened for your career. So if you're interested in learning the difference between the two, let's dive in. Hi, I'm Ryan Swate, and I used to be a two-time college dropout, making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how. All right, so college versus university. Let's jump over to my computer screen and I'll walk you through the differences between the two. Now, first off, in the United States, when we talk about college or university, we kind of interchange the words and they, I don't know, when we're just talking about school, they mean the same thing in our vocabulary, right? Well, hey, where did you go to college or where did you go, what university did you go to? We're kind of talking about the same thing in the United States, but the reality is that they actually are two different things. Now, the main difference, okay, the main difference is that colleges generally only offer undergrad programs, okay? Associate's degrees and sometimes bachelor's degrees, sometimes not even either of those, sometimes it's even lower than that, but basically the very most you can earn, the maximum degree you can earn from a college is usually a bachelor's degree, okay? There are some rare exceptions, but this is the general rule of thumb. A college is generally for lower education, a university is generally for higher education, okay? Now, on the other hand, universities can offer both, okay? They can offer bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, uh, doctorate degrees, and you can keep going, right? So that's the main difference between the two is essentially just in what degrees that they offer and what programs that they have at your disposal. Now, there are different types of colleges. Universities are generally the same. It's, it's just traditional school, bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, and so on. Now, colleges can be community colleges. They can be liberal arts colleges, career colleges, technical schools, trade schools. Those can all be referred to as colleges. Basically, any, almost any form of education uh, that's organized education beyond high school can be called college, okay? Universities, it's a little bit different. It's a bachelor's degree, it's a master's degree, it's a doctorate degree, and so on, okay? Now, beyond curiosity, the most important thing you need to ask yourself is, will this degree that I'm about to, that I'm about to work on and about to get, is it gonna open the right doors for me? Is it gonna get me into that master's program or is it gonna get me the job that I'm trying to get? Okay, so a few questions that you're gonna to need to ask yourself are number one, okay, if you're gonna attend a college in hopes to transfer to a university or a graduate, graduate program, you need to ask yourself, will that college degree get you in? Okay, and what I mean when I say that is let's say you wanna get an MBA from your state university that's next to your house, okay? You wanna attend their MBA program and get a master's in business administration. But you're going to a local community college to finish your prerequisites to get into that program, okay? What you need to do is you need to follow up with the university that you're trying to get into and make sure that the college degree, the, the pre-degree basically that you're trying to get, is it actually going to get you into that master's program, okay? So there's nothing wrong with like attending college first to get somewhere else, but you need to make sure it's actually gonna open that door. A mistake a lot of people make is they think, well, I'm gonna to go to community college first and then I'll, I'll deal with going to get my four-year degree later. And then they go, attend community college, get an associate's degree, and end up applying for a university. And guess what? Their associate's degree does not get them into that university. That's a big mistake that you don't wanna make. So essentially what you need to do is you need to follow up with the university you're trying to get into, whether it's a, a, a bachelor's degree or a master's degree or a doctorate degree, whatever it is, you need to make sure that the lower degree 
from the college that you're thinking of attending is going to actually get you into that school. Now, secondly, will that college degree get you the job that you're wanting to get? Okay, a lot of people just go to college just because they want a better job, okay? There's nothing wrong with going to college because you want a better job, but it's you're gonna have way more success if you actually plan it out first. What job are you trying to get? And what's it gonna to take to qualify you for that job? What degree do you need to get? Do you need to go to a college? Do you need an associate's degree? Do you need a bachelor's degree? Do you need a master's degree? What is the actual end result that you need to qualify for that job, okay? And then you start studying which colleges or universities that you wanna to go to, okay? Now, when talking about colleges and universities, it's really important. This is probably the most important aspect. Whether you choose a college or a university, you need to make sure that it's accredited and you need to make sure that it's regionally accredited, not just nationally accredited. Okay, so look up and do your research about regional accreditation. I'm listing right here a name of the top, um, basically, groups that accredited colleges, that accredit colleges make sure that whatever college you attend is accredited by one of these places or one of these groups, okay? If you do that, you generally know that your college degree is worth something. I talk to people all the time, literally almost every day, someone will tell me, they'll reach out to me and say, hey, I want, it, I want your help getting a college degree faster. Um, I earned a college degree 20 years ago or 30 years ago, and my college wasn't accredited and they went out of business and now that college degree means nothing and I have to go back to school all over again, okay? That's a situation that you don't want to be in. So literally just make sure that whatever college you choose is regionally accredited, okay? Because that's basically that highest bar of standard for education. If you're above that bar, then generally your college degree is worth something. Okay, now map out your career. I talked about this a little bit, but really when you're going to get a college degree, explore what jobs are you trying to get? What career are you trying to get into? And then map out what college or university you wanna to go to to reach that final goal, okay? Because you don't wanna put in all this work and then you got the wrong degree or you went to the wrong school and it doesn't open the door that you want opened. It's that simple. If you take a step back and plan this out ahead of time, your chances for success in getting your dream job or getting in the, into the career you're trying to get into or getting into that master's program that you really wanna get into, you're gonna have a lot more success because you planned it out ahead of time instead of just winging it, okay? Now, if you've watched my channel at all, you probably know that I teach people how to get college degrees way faster for way less money, okay? I dropped out of college twice myself, and then I went back for the third time, but I followed a process called degree hacking. And I got an entire bachelor's degree from a highly accredited university in just nine months. Okay, and like I said, I followed a process called degree hacking. If you're interested in earning your degree faster and paying way less to get your college degree, I'm gonna leave a link down in the video description right down below. Um, if you're on your phone, click on the video title. If you're on your computer, just scroll down and click see more and it's gonna open up that video description and you can look at that free training. It's a free video, no strings attached. I literally am just gonna teach you the three-step process of degree hacking in hopes that you can graduate even faster than I did. I hope that helps, and I hope that you have a better understanding of the difference between college and university. It's literally just a technical term that separates um, what classes and what degrees the university offers, but make sure you choose a highly accredited school, and if you're interested in doing it faster, I'll leave that link down below. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next video.